Hey everybody, hi! It's Becky from PowerToolsWithThread.com. That's my blog. Hope you guys are doing well. It is February 26, 2021, and we are packing up to go to the coast. The temperatures have kind of normalized. We're back into like 60s. It might reach around 70 down there today. So it's about two and a half hours from us, so it's not too far of a drive and we will be back on Sunday. But I just wanted to pop in and visit with you guys and tell you what I have got going on and what's come in the mail and all of that. First of all, I want to thank Annie. Annie, I got your lovely. It's a big mug rug. Anything, it could just sit right by my sewing machine during the season. It's just absolutely gorgeous. This is obviously an In the Hoop project. And you did a wonderful job on it, and I want to thank you very much, Annie. That's very nice. Thank you. And she included a sweet little, you know, you've got to have something sweet when you sew, right? It was very thoughtful of you. Thank you. I just love it. Absolutely love it. It just came in the mail yesterday, so it may have been lost somewhere if you meant for it to arrive by Valentine's Day, but that's very nice. I had mentioned in my last video, there is a online store, online fabric store, and it's called Reb's Fab Stash. Let me show you the top of the invoice so you guys can see what it looks like, what their little logo looks like, Reb's Fab Stash. I encourage you guys to go out and Find this online shop and sign up for their emails. They send out emails all the time with new fabrics they're getting in and discounted fabrics and all of that. I have shopped with them many times and I'll tell you, I'll put in an order and within 24 hours, I've got to notice that my shipment is on the way. It's crazy. They're very, very good at it. And of course, it's nice to always get a personalized thank you note. I highly uh, prize that feature. But anyway, they had offered a Valentine's Day mystery scrap for $15.95. And I thought, meh, why not, right? Let me show you what came in. I love getting mystery bundles. <laughs> it makes life exciting. <laughs> I got their panels, and they have the cutest cats on them. And they... I actually got two of these. I don't know if they are the same. I'll have to look. These are just awesome. Check these guys out. How cool, huh? So these are nice little panels. You know, you can put these on bags. This one is a cat in the sewing machine. Look at this guy right here. How cool. I got two of the same panels. I also got coordinating pink with little stripe and dots. That's very nice. So about three quarters of a yard of this. Two panels and some black, a little scrap. You can never go wrong with black, you guys. And then this is seven eighths of a yard. Nice. So $15 for all that. $16, $15.95. Like it very much. This is that kind of stuff that you never know when you're going to need it. And then you need it and you're like, oh, thank goodness I found that. But I'm pretty happy with it. They're the ones I had purchased that... Um, that dolphin panel from too on my last video. The Two Chicks Quilting down in Ganada, Texas had an online uh, sale yesterday at two o'clock central. And it is on their Facebook page. If you go to, on Facebook, look for Two Chicks Quilting. The replay of it is, is there. Two Chicks Quilting has an app in the iTunes store and Google Play and you can go on there and just, and you can do purchases. It's amazing, it's wonderful. I think it's great in today's day and age where we're on lockdown, so many states are still on lockdown and you can't get out that you can actually go and look and, and shop online. And, and I really commend uh, the entire team at Two Chicks for really reaching outside of their comfort zone and doing what they can in the digital world to bring that kind of stuff to you and make it all easier for us to shop. It was great. That little app, I'm just sold. That's what I want. And being it added it right to my cart. And it knows first come, first serve. So it was pretty cool. But they had had some muscle car fabric that came in. And I don't have it yet. It hasn't been delivered. I'm going to actually pick it up on the Taste of Texas Shop Hop next weekend. I'll be going down to that. 
and I will be at that store. I picked up a lot of that fabric. Let me put a piece of it right here so you can see what it looks like. So I'm going to use Villa Rosa Designs grid work pattern to make this muscle car quilt. And I'm going to donate this quilt to the Port O'Connor Volunteer Fire Department has a fundraiser with an auction every year. They do a big, you know, come by and get your plate, barbecue plate and that kind of thing. And then they have a silent auction and I'm going to donate the muscle car quilt. I think that will do really well in there. That, that place is just loaded down with sport fishermen. So I'm sure there's some muscle car fans. So that I'm looking forward to putting that together. It should be pretty simple when it comes in because there was a panel with the muscle car fabric. And I bought the spark. It was the spark plug fabric that put me over the top. I'm like, that's the one I'm going to do. So. I'm really excited about getting that fabric in. That should be fun to put together. And I gotta tell you guys, this homemade, homegrown salsa by Moda, this fabric has changed my life completely because I'm redoing my kitchen in it. <laughs> I just love it so much. And maybe it's because I've lived in San Antonio almost my entire life. And uh, it just, I don't know, it just feels good to me. This fabric just brings me, I know, we eat a lot of jalapenos around here, so. But I wanted to tell you guys too, that I had shown in my last video how I was custom quilting with the quilt butler doing this. Well, I actually made a video on how I did that. So I'll be releasing that video probably next week sometime. But I gotta show you guys, I mastered. I finished a table topper. I went ahead and, and I've quilted this. I still have to put the binding on. And the binding is this, uh, this stripe that I love. So it'll look, it'll look like this with the binding. Look at this pepper. Can you see the background quilting? I did that crosshatch, diamond crosshatch. I just love it. So I was able to create this pattern box on the butler and I told it to quilt here and not right here. So I apply, I applied the pepper on before I quilted it and the, the, the machine knew to stop right there and then it picked up down here and kept going and did its thing. Just incredible. And I have to tell you, this is probably the very first time since I've had that butler that I actually had fun with it. I was so excited with it. And it's funny, I've had that thing for five years and it's, it's like, it just, a, a light bulb just bang. Oh, I get it. I get it now. I, you know, I never have had any training professionally on it. I've never taken a class on it. And there are videos, spotty type videos all over YouTube on it. But if you, you know, you have to watch them. You have to understand how the thing works. You got to watch a whole bunch of them to glean a little bit off of each one. Those of you that have tried to learn stuff on YouTube, I'm sure... Uh, you know what I'm talking about. It's it's hard and you'll see something on one video and then you kind of don't get it and then you'll see something on another video and you'll go, ah, that's what it means. Okay. So that's kind of what happened to me. And while I'm no expert yet, I wouldn't call myself an expert at all, but I was able to individually quilt each piece of this table topper and also not quilt on the pepper, on the applique. And that's huge to be able to do that. So I was, I'm just real pleased with that. Anyway, so I'm making the table topper. These are going on my breakfast bar. I just made two of these, cause just Keith and I. And then I'm gonna be making a little fabric baskets and I made a towel topper for it. 
a video will be coming out on uh, YouTube pretty soon for that. And I ordered more of this fabric because I'm going to change my window treatments. <laughs> oh, I'll have to show you guys when they're done. Earlier this month, Pat Sloan, and if you guys are unfamiliar with who Pat Sloan is, especially you embroiderers, she's like a rock star in the quilting world. And she's a pattern designer, fabric designer. She's got lots of books out. And Pat does a daily video on every day except Sunday. And in her daily video, it's real quick. It's just eight to 10 minutes, maybe 11 or something like that. And she just goes through, she puts out a calendar every month and then every day she talks a little bit about something having to do in the quilting world. And she'll bring you along and tell you about sew alongs and everything. So if you are unfamiliar with her and you are interested in quilting or maybe you're like, what is all that about? Or you've never had an interest in being a quilter, but now you're stuck home and you want something to do. I highly encourage you to check out her YouTube channel and um, just kind of follow along and listen and you'll get a feel for how all of that works. Anyway, she's been very, very influential in my life when it comes in my quilting world. So one of the things, I digressed, okay, so one of the things that she had talked about earlier this month was hanging your quilt and ideas about how to hang your quilt. And I wanted to show you guys something that I discovered at the Houston Quilt Festival, uh, it was 20, it been 2019, because we didn't have it in 2020 because of COVID. So this was 2019. I ran across this vendor, and it was a very nice gentleman, and I will link to that video right here, and you can see him do his entire demo on this product, but I want to show this to you guys. And they are called Magnetic Invisible Quilt Hangers. This is what the product is called. And there are five magnets in here. Very, very strong magnets. And they come with command strips. So you put the command strip on the back of the metal. I'll take one out and show you. These are great too if you're in an RV and you want to hang a quilt. These are great because you're not going to ruin the walls on the RV. So it comes with a full set of instructions. It comes with a whole bunch of these command strips. So you put the command strip. These are strong, you guys, real strong. You put the command strip on the back part of this. And then it has a very, very strong magnet on here. And this moves. You can remove it. And I mean, it is strong. Three of these will hold a king size quilt. Well, how does that work, right? Let me show you. So what you do, and this is wonderful, especially if you don't want to put a sleeve on the back of your quilt. I like sleeves, but by the time I'm done with a quilt, the last thing I want to do is <laughs> continue on with a sleeve. But these are awesome. I'm going to link to these below. If you want to get some, please use my links. I'm a poor retiree now. I need every little penny. Anyway, that was a shameless plug. So what you can do with these on the back of my placemat here, as an example, you can take safety pins, big safety pins, like I've done right here, okay? See the big safety pins? And you go get flat steel rods. I've got a couple of these. This one's real long, but you can cut them to whatever size. And he even recommends cutting a long one in a couple of pieces and then you can tape them together if you want. But what you do is you just slide this, the bar, through. You can get this, you can get this bar at Home Depot or Lowe's. Slide the bar through your safety pins, okay? Like this. And then this bar will pretend that it's not hanging out here, okay? So now the now your quilt is hanging by safety pins. Let me put this. I want to show you guys. Okay, so now your quilt is hanging by safety pins. There's your command strip on the back that is on the side of your wall. Right? Look at that. These things are strong, y'all. Of course, you would move your safety pins down a little lower. Okay, so now... Your quilt's going to hang by command strips with this bar. And look how straight it is. It doesn't droop because you can put as many safety pins as you want in here. Look at that. 
and it'll just hang up there. So two of these will hold a twin size quilt, three will hold a king. You can put up as many as you need, but these things are amazing and they are a great, great way to hang quilts if you don't want to put a sleeve on your quilt. Again, those are called magnetic invisible quilt hangers. And then even if you don't have a, a rod like this, if you don't have a rod, and he shows in his demo, can go and just get those little cheap, those little cheap metal tension rods like they have at Walmart. You can use those too. It doesn't leave any marks on your walls. This, this product is fabulous. And if you guys haven't tried it, I recommend it. They're not inexpensive, but you can move them anywhere. I'm sure everybody is aware, Missouri Star Quilt Company has a daily deal that they put out every day. And uh, that I think that changes midnight-ish. And it's a deeply discounted product. And then Fat Quarter Shop also does a flash sale and that changes every day at 8 a.m. Central. So the other day they had one and they had a spool of, this is all-purpose all polyester thread. I don't know who makes it, who makes it? Wonderful. So I snagged that. I'm a huge fan of polyester thread because my piecing machine is not a fan of cotton thread. So I, I like that. And then in keeping with talking about how to hang your quilt, this product has been out for a while and it is called Quilter's Hang Up. Let me get it out of the package. And all it is is a sleeve. It's three yards of a, what we would call regulation quilt sleeve. You can use it in shows, but the lady who created it, she owns a quilt shop, quilter herself and everything. And like I said, who wants to fiddle around with a sleeve? So if you want sleeves, this is real nice. It says, let us help you finish your quilt. Easy to use, saves time. Regulation size of four inches tall, available in unbleached muslin or black. And this one's unbleached muslin. You can see right there is a little piece of the fabric. So all it is is a quilt sleeve. That's all it is. And it was on a deep discount. It's the reason I picked it up because... I mean, obviously you can make your own, but this one is designed so that it allows art to hang flat. So you're not gonna get like a bump or anything. It's just a consideration. If you guys are interested and you don't feel like making your own, you can just get a quilter's hang up and use that. Hey, tell me how you like to hang your quilts. That would be cool. I always like getting new ideas. Also, somebody had mentioned in a comment or in the Facebook group about if you are doing uh, designs by Juju's end-to-end -end quilting, all over quilting, and you have metal frame or something, and it, this is just an option, and maybe you've got fast frames on a multi-needle, you might consider sew tights. These are magnetic sewing pins. And they remind me of the magnets that are on the back when I, was, when I was working and I had to wear a name tag. They had magnets on the back of our little plastic name tag with your name and your organization and all that. Well, these sew tights remind me of that magnet that's on the back of those. They look like, oh, they look like this. So here's the plastic part, okay, and the, oh. They're hard. They're hard to get off. You have to slide it there like that. So these are your magnets right here and they're really strong and uh, you may want these to hold on to metal things. They're called so tights. H-D. Heavy duty. So tights. But I thought I'd give them a try and see how they do. I use magnets a lot in my sewing room. They're very, very handy. So. All right, you guys. That's all I had to talk to you about. Just want to pop in, say hi. Show you some of the cool little gizmos and gadgets I've got going on. And show you the new fabric. All right, we will talk to you soon. Go sew something. Bye.